This video will discuss the standard reduction potential of half cells as a way to get the standard EMF of electrochemical reactions. So we have our prototypical reaction here. We have tin solid, which gets oxidized to become tin 2 plus aqueous cations, plus nickel aqueous cations, charge of 2 plus, which get reduced to form solid nickel metal. Each of these occurs in separate half cell reactions tin to tin sulfate, producing those two electrons which flow from our anode to our cathode over to give the nickel 2 plus aqueous cations, those two electrons to get reduced to nickel solid. We have uh, standard potentials of each of these half cell reactions. So there's the standard oxidation potential on the left, which happens to be plus 0.14 volts. A volt is one joule per coulomb. And we have the standard reduction potential, which occurs at the right on the cathode, which is negative 0.25 volts, or joules per coulomb. So the standard EMF of this total cell is the standard EMF of the oxidation plus the standard EMF of the reduction, 0.14 plus minus 0.25, which is minus 0.11 volts. So the standard EMF of this cell is negative. So if the nickel and tin are both at, a, at an activity of one, at a concentration of one mole per liter, this reaction would be spontaneous in the reverse direction. A negative EMF meaning that delta G of reaction is positive and it is spontaneous in the reverse direction. Okay, so we see here that since the Gibbs energy is a state function, we have the, and it's also extensive, the Gibbs energy of reaction, or standard Gibbs energy of reaction, is the standard Gibbs energy of oxidation plus the standard Gibbs energy of reduction. So since that's true, our EMF of our cell is equal to the EMF of the standard EMF of the oxidation plus the standard EMF of the reduction that occurs. So from this, we can rearrange this equation to see that the standard EMF of the reduction of our half cell at the cathode is equal to the standard EMF of the cell minus the standard EMF of the oxidation occurring at the anode on the left. So how do we go about getting these standard reduction potentials? So here we're going to use a, something called the standard hydrogen electrode, or SHE for short. So we can take uh, H2 gas, which is at a fugacity of one bar, the standard state for hydrogen gas. And that is over here in, over here on the left at our anode. And it's going to get oxidized to form H plus ions, so making aqueous HCl. And the HCl is at a mean ionic activity of one. So both of these at an activity of one. <clears throat> So that's a standard hydrogen electrode, which we're putting at our anode. And conveniently for us, the standard uh, oxidation potential of the hydrogen electrode is equal to the negative standard reduction potential of the standard hydrogen electrode, which is defined to be zero volts. So the standard hydrogen electrode with this concentration of gas, that ionic activity of HCl, is what gives us the ability to compute the standard reduction potentials of other half cells because this one is defined to be zero. So if we want to find the standard reduction potential of a given half cell reaction, we set up an electrochemical cell with the standard hydrogen electrode at our anode and then our cathode with our half cell of interest. So <clears throat> we, can, we can get our standard reduction potential this way. And then whenever that cell is at the anode instead of the cathode, the standard oxidation potential of it is just equal to its negative standard reduction potential. The, the potential of it when it's oxidized is just the reverse of it when it's reduced. So what this means is we can get the standard EMF of an, any electrochemical cell we choose by getting the standard reduction potential of the cathode and subtracting the standard reduction potential of the anode. So we get reduced on the right at the cathode, so that we leave that as a positive sign, minus, because we're adding the negative of the oxidation potential, 
So minus the reduction potential at the left where we have the oxidation at the anode. So these standard reduction potentials, these are things that exist in tables, things at the appendix of textbooks, lots of places online, pretty quick and easy to look those up. So once you know what the two half cells are, look up the standard reduction potential of each of them, uh, flip the sign for the one that occurs at the, at the anode, add them together, and that's the EMF of our cell. So in this case, I looked up for the reduction of nickel 2 plus to nickel. That has a, a standard reduction potential of 0 0.25. For the reduction of tin 2 plus to tin, that's negative 0 0.14. So the negative of that is just positive 0 0.14. That's how I looked up those two, add those together, and I get negative 0 0.11 volts for my standard EMF of this reaction.